I'm going to be better than you in the future. You better be ready. The girl that was telling me off was Chihiro Arazawa. She always treated me like some kind of rival. I feel like for the last few years, she's only tried to challenge me. Six years later... Thank you. I was working part-time in a nearby supermarket. Check out, please. Hello. I'm a good fit in this part-time job. I'm able to talk and greet complete strangers, which helps me feel happy. Wait, are you... Huh? You're Sendo, right? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm working the register. You mean, you're working a part-time job? Yes. <laughs> you're being serious? About what? The Sendo that was praised by everyone as genius? Huh, who knew you'd end up in a supermarket working the cash register, huh? Ma'am, there are other customers waiting in line, so can we please move along? What is that attitude? I'm an invaluable customer. What are you rushing me for? That is something that we, as staff members of the supermarket, have to keep in mind, and not something that customers need to remind us about. More than anything, we have no obligation to treat customers who treat us disrespectfully with anything less than disrespect. Uh, uh, what the hell is your problem? Ugh, you still know how to rub people the wrong way, huh? Wait, do I know this lady? I don't remember. I'm sorry, but we really cannot entertain customers who decrease other customers' satisfaction. If the customer comes first, doesn't the greater group of customers come before the single customer? Ugh! You're so annoying! You're a part-time worker, right? How dare you talk to a customer like that? No. People who get in the way of customers are no customers at all. I am so done. I'm never coming here again. Thank you. Please come again. I just said I won't! She stomped out of the store, furious. I think there was someone like that back when I was in school. Uh, sir? Hmm? What's up, Miss Hinamoto? This girl is Kurumi Hinamoto. She's a high schooler and is very quiet and calm. Good kid. She likes clothing and is working to earn money so she can buy clothes. Um, are you okay? I mean, she was a customer, and you were definitely talking back to her. Oh, it's fine. We're pretty darn cheap compared to other stores in the area, and we always treat the proper customers with proper respect. As long as we keep that up, the regulars will keep coming. Closing of that day. Miss Hinamoto, great job today. Thank you, sir. Your mom is coming to pick you up, right? Yes, sir. She says it's dangerous at night. I'm sure she's extra worried about her. I feel better letting you go knowing your mom will pick you up. All right, take care. Thank you, sir. See you. Phew. Too many customers. Hey. Huh? You... you're that lady from lunch. Yeah, that's me. How dare you? You're still holding that against me? You realize that men don't like women who drag things on, right? What did you say? Just so you know, I was super popular in high school and college. You have no idea how many people asked me out. I see. Cool. Ugh, stop acting like you don't care! So? How can I help you? Ugh, you're so selfish. Ugh, I've always hated the way you behaved, mocking others around you. Sorry, who are you? You're gonna ask me that now? I'm Chihiro Arazawa. We were fighting for first place in high school academics. I'm literally your rival. Fighting for first place? Huh? I think I've only ever scored first in high school. Uh, yeah, I couldn't beat you three years in a row and ended up being second the whole time. Oh yeah, I remember. You always messed with me when you had the chance. Especially come test time, right? You really forgot? Sorry, I only really remember important things. 
Can you stop taunting me like that? You're saying I was unimportant? I mean, we weren't dating, and we weren't exactly friends, right? It's been like nine years since I graduated. I'm not going to remember you. <sighs> so, how can I help you, Miss Arazawa? We can't fight for first place in high school anymore. I don't want to do that! Ugh, you're so annoying. Okay, so, what is it then? <laughs> you're gonna be surprised. I started my own company five years ago. It's a fashion store, and it's been popular from the get-go. I'm completely different from you, who's working part-time in a supermarket. Wow, congrats, wow! You're mocking me! You don't think what I did is special at all! No, I think so. How great of you to start your own company. Really? You think so? Yeah, seriously. Most people can't run their own company. <laughs> right? I've been working my butt off for the past nine years, so of course it's great! Wow, she's really happy about it. But I mean, she did start her own store. I don't know how many difficult times she had to go through to get to where she is, but it really is incredible that she started her own company. All right, well, I'm going to go home. Wait, I'm not done talking. Huh? What now? You don't have to act so angry. You're going to hurt my feelings. I mean, come on, it's late. I want to go home. Oh, come on, just hear me out. Here we go again. I'll hire you. I don't know about your personality, but you're definitely capable, and it's much better than working at a... Oh, sorry. No thanks. What? You're turning me down? I mean, I have no reason to join your company. It's my company! We offer weekends and holidays off guaranteed. 124 days off a year. How about $3,000 a month uh, with a bonus twice a year? Uh, uh, five months worth every bonus. We'll consider a raise every year as well. Mm, I feel like it's just a sketchy job, so I'm good. Huh? Why? This is a great place to work. Yeah, it sounds too good to be true, so it's too sketchy. You can't pay that much someone who doesn't even have any kind of actual experience. I have no idea what you're going to make me do. It's just a regular job! Ugh, I wanted you to join our marketing department. Me? Marketing? You're pretty smart and flexible. You always came up with great ideas when we were in high school. Ugh, I need that kind of talent. You're serious? You didn't come here coincidentally, did you? Uh, I knew it. I thought it was weird. Uh, no, no. It was totally a coincidence. Why would I have to look for you and go to a supermarket? You didn't come to scout me? No. Don't be so full of yourself. It's not like recently my sales have been declining and that I've been doing the same successful thing that has worked, but for some reason I just keep losing money and I feel like I need to try something new, so I came to find the only person who could maybe help me. Sh she's being awfully specific. I'm sure she needed my help. She wasn't too upfront about things when she was in high school either. Well, anyway, I don't want to work for you. It's a great position! Uh, you planning on working part-time in a supermarket forever? It's not about the position. I like this job. I don't get it. You just don't want to take your job serious. I don't really care how you want to take it. How are you going to go home? It doesn't look like you drove here. You going to walk? Uh-huh. I mean, yeah, I'm walking distance. I'll send you off, since it's a little dark. Huh? You're gonna make a move on me? Yeah, I'm not that ballsy. I'm just worried. If that's what you really think... Okay, fine. You may send me off to my house. She's so proud of herself. I was a little annoyed, but I didn't want to waste any more time, so I just shut up and started walking. 
she kept talking about her job and wouldn't let up, but I really had no intention of joining. So I just kept laughing and shrugging it all off. And then... I'm coming here as a customer. You can't complain. She would occasionally show up at the store. I wonder what she meant by she will never come again. I don't know, but I guess she's a customer. It's not like she's sitting here trying to advertise her work. I let it go. She seemed to be coming every day. Then one day... Hmm? Did something happen, Miss Arazawa? Nothing. You sure are looking like something happened. If something's bothering you, I'll listen. Telling you isn't going to help me. Yeah, so there is something. You never know. You might feel better talking to someone else. And I'm not you or the party involved, so I can be objective. How about you try talking first? I'll come by after you close. Okay. I'll be waiting. She paid for her stuff and left the store. After I closed the store... And? What happened? Um... I'm not sure if I should be talking about this to someone who isn't involved. But my sales have been declining, so... The bank said they'd be cutting back on the amount they would be willing to loan me. I see. You work in a fashion store marketed towards young women, right? Yeah. We focus on our design and comfort. We were going to bring in new machinery and increase production. By the way, does bringing in the new machinery increase sales? <sighs> I figured I could cut back on labor costs, so I think it would result in overall profit. Why do you think that your sales are going down? Uh-huh. I think because my brand isn't as popular. No, your brand has excellent reviews at every single store. Besides, I have a high schooler that works in our store, and she's got nothing but your brand on. She was talking about how her mom wouldn't buy things from your store anymore. That's why she's working to earn money and buy your clothing. Hmm, does that mean my items are too expensive? But... I know, inflation is rocking everyone, and it makes sense that it costs more to make things. That's why you need to raise the price, right? Yeah. But food prices, electricity, gas prices, they're all going up too. That means that people will start cutting back on things that are more optional. Some people are still struggling, even after cutting back, so they won't really be buying your clothing, right? And you're raising the prices too. You can't make as much as you could before. That's probably one of the reasons your sales are declining. But what am I supposed to do? I need to cut back on labor to keep prices down, right? I would keep that as a last option. How about you decrease the quality of the material you use while maintaining your design? I feel like a lot of your products aren't super expensive, but they're just enough for an average person to spend a little extra to buy. You should cut back on the material fees first. And it doesn't matter if each sale makes less. You need to drop the price. But then I'm going to lose a lot of money. You'd think so. But you're actually going to be selling more to make up for the losses. I think you'll profit in the end. Right now, other fashion brands are raising their prices too. If your designs are good and they're cheap, you really think people will buy anything but yours? Yeah, I said drop the quality, but I'm saying keep it within reasonable limits, right? Just make it average. Your strong suit is the design. If you keep the design, I think you'll be able to pick up a lot of customers from other stores. Uh, I mean, maybe, but I need to buy the machines to increase production anyway. I'll loan you the money. Uh-huh. But you work part-time, right? You can't be that well off. I'm an investor. I think I'm pretty well off, actually. Huh? I look for companies that look like they're going to grow. It's more fun than just trying to work. By the way, I said I'm an investor, but I own that store. Most stores look at the general population, so I like to talk to them to figure out what their opinion is on what they want. Also, being inside all day is boring, so I like coming out and talking to people. <laughs> you're definitely insane. So yeah, I think you're gonna grow, so I would like to invest. I also think you should put some money into advertising. I can help you with that too. 
Y you're sure? Yeah, of course. I think it'll benefit both of us. So don't think you owe me or anything. I'm doing this for myself, after all. <laughs> you're seriously no different from when you were in high school. Kind of an ass, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thank you. You're saving my life here. You really don't need to thank me. Anyway, let's work together from now on. Business partners, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, and sorry for taunting you like that earlier. I really needed you to come to my company. It's alright, I get it. But you should probably keep the mocking to a minimum going forward, huh? Yeah, <laughs> promise. What happened next? Well, we were right. She lowered the prices and her clothing flew off the shelves. By more people buying, more reviews, and more word of mouth, even our very own Miss Hinamoto was happy to buy more of her clothing, so it was great for everyone. Of course, Miss Arazawa's company has been doing great. Thank you, Sendo. I think my company is okay now. If you think about the customer first, then the customers won't leave you either. Keep working hard, huh? Yeah. Hey, can you keep giving me advice? I mean, if you're alright with someone who's an amateur... Okay, I'll come every day. She was already coming every day, though. That's why I'm at the cash register more often, and we're getting closer. I don't think anything's going to happen anytime soon, but it would be nice if we could go on a date sometime. 